today I want to talk about what is full-time families and uh, how it can help you with your RVing journey. Um, full-time families was introduced to us by um, our first mentors when we first embarked on the road three years ago. Uh, we had no idea what we were doing uh, and we were honestly uh, very scared and so we locked out and we found an amazing family that uh, was able to show us the ropes a little bit and the first thing they said before you do anything join full-time families and when we asked what it is they said well it's a sort of RV club you get to meet um, terrific families you get to connect with others on the road uh, just do it don't ask uh, uh, it's very affordable and you are not gonna regret it so that's what we did we joined full-time families uh, and we paid for the entire year in advance. Um, I don't remember how much it is right now, but I think it was 60 when we paid. Uh, money, well, 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 well worth it. Um, Full-time families uh, is a sort of RV club for families. Uh, and as you can see in the picture, uh, there are bonfires, there are get-togethers, uh, there are over over 20, I think, uh, Facebook groups for the different branches of full-time families. There's a group for the business owners and a group for content creators. Those are the ones I facilitate. There are groups for um, location-based groups, like a Florida full-time families group, a Texas full-time families group, uh, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. So whenever you arrive to a certain part of the United States, you're able to get on and say, hey, I'm here, who else is here? Uh, even more awesome is that every uh, campground from the main campgrounds that most full-time families travel in uh, has a full-time families chat so that you can ask for help. Uh, for example, uh, when we had a problem, we needed something for our baby, we needed Tylenol, I just wrote it in the chat and somebody came and dropped off medication. Uh, a few minutes later, if you're if you need salt, if you need sugar, if you need it's like a neighborhood chat in every campground. Uh, but you uh, need to be a part of full-time families to join. Uh, this is a really, really terrific uh, investment. It what has been for us, and I know it is for thousands of families around the U.S. and growing bigger because so many people are embarking on the road um, because you're not alone. You're not, not, not only are you not alone, but you actually get to meet like-minded people, people who have said goodbye to the nine to five, people who have said goodbye to the sticks and bricks and have decided to go on an adventure with their kids before it's too late because they knew that if they would have to wait until the time is right, that time may never come. So we discuss the bonfires and the events. There are rallies for full-time families that meet around the U.S. Uh, the rallies are full of activities for the kids. Uh, circles, 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 bonfires, 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 uh, different discussion and topics, discussions and topics and themes. Um, and you can join. Um, here in the picture down there, you see clams. Many of the full-time families uh, open clams. They buy a clam tent. This is the name of the tent. And they set it up in the different campgrounds. And so you can use the tent for, uh, for us, it's the teen uh, club. So our teens invite the different other teens uh, to come hang out in the evenings in the, in the clam and they play games together. Um, offline games, oftentimes it's, it could be card games and board games and Pokemon and whatever it is that um, they like to do. Uh, here you actually see me using the clam as my office because it's very hard to work from inside the RV. So in the morning, sometimes I would use the uh, clam as my office. In the evening, it turns into a club for the teens. Uh, in the campgrounds, it's really awesome because you see all these brown clams uh, that people open up. Some people do their yoga in their clam. Some people just hang out. Um, just uh, different families adjust the clam to match their uh, their needs. So this is something that's very popular with the full-time families. Uh, let's see what else I didn't tell you. Um, there are road schooling. There's road schooling support. So when you're traveling with your kids, how do you teach them on the road? Uh, a lot of support going on, a lot of circles, a lot of discussion in the full-time family groups about how to road school, how to homeschool from the road. Um, 
we said uh, there are 20 groups, there are chats, uh, they help you with internet solutions. Uh, they also, it's very useful for boondocking. So boondocking is when you um, go off the grid and you park your RV outside a campground in the middle of the desert, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, okay? Oftentimes, full-time families will come together and boondock together because uh, safety in numbers, right? So it's safer to be with other families uh, in order to... Uh, experience nature on the deepest of levels and still be safe in case there's an emergency. Don't forget you're traveling with kids. Uh, a child can spike a fever in the middle of the night. You need that sort of community. So there's a very strong feeling of community in full-time families, really a sense of belonging uh, that we didn't expect to have when we first embarked. We didn't think there was anything like this and we were fine with being on our own. Uh, this was such a pleasant surprise. We've met the best families, had the best bonfires, um, really truly um, got to experience a community that we never had when we were in Sticks and Bricks, uh, not on this level. And we're still meeting people almost every day in the different campgrounds. So full-time families, uh, I highly recommend it as uh, something to sign up for before embarking on a road. And here I'll show you a little piece of my conversation with Nicole Schroeder, the owner of Full-Time Families, about what Full-Time Families is and uh, why you should sign up for it. Yeah, so the number of groups um, can fluctuate sometimes. Um, sometimes somebody will have an idea for a group and we'll try it out and see how it goes. And sometimes, um, you know, groups are only for a season and then we realize that it's not very active. Um, so some of them change, um, but some of the bigger groups um, are like the boondockers group. And so there's a ton of information on there, people sharing like, hey, we're boondocking here. This is an amazing site. Right. Or for, like, those, for those uh, who don't know, boondocking is sort of like, well, how would you describe it? dry camping maybe or you're not connected to electricity yeah. to water you're in the middle of nowhere uh yeah, docking typically there. In the, <laughs> yeah it's typically in the middle of nowhere with no hookup so um you're running either on a solar power um you know batteries or a generator um you're not connected to a water source you need to fill it before you come um you ha don't have a sewer source either so um, camping in the wild with um, your, you know, your right. This is for the advanced, advanced campers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do not try um, this at home if you're not experienced. <laughs> um, try. We always say try with the, try this with a friend. <laughs> yes. Um, so you guys okay. can support each other. Um, so what so are some other branches? Group. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Um, we have like a traveling mercies group. We have a traveling secularist group. We have a a road schooling group where the um, parents share a lot of. Uh, either curriculum, you know, questions and suggestions or just cool ideas that they've done um, or they can ask questions, um, you know, of other parents that have gone before them and done a certain grade or a certain age. So would, um, you, say, would you say that you have a few dozen groups? Um, we less? probably range, we're, we're probably around 25 at any given time. 